I am always uh, intrigued by when people make cases for things that go against what is like common knowledge, especially when you recognize in yourself that you have like absorbed through osmosis of the culture or something like some beliefs that you've never critically examined. And so one of those really common beliefs that like if you just ask people on the street, 90% of the people will tell you, if you ask them, well, what do you think about the population? People will just say, oh, well, the earth is overpopulated. Like this is just like a really popular belief that like there's, oh, there's you know, all sorts of variations of this. There's too many people. We need less people. Uh, and I, like this is something that I used to believe too. It's just something that like you kind of absorb going through life. I don't know when it's told to everybody or when it's, it just kind of happens In naturally. K through yeah, K through 12 is probably, you know, Earth Day when we got our little yeah. trees and we, your population was mentioned. Sure. Uh, and... One, I, I read uh, the work of an economist who's, who's now passed away, uh, Julian Simon. Uh, he made, he, he had this massive book called The Ultimate Resource, where he went through every possible objection. And he pointed out all the data indicates that the world is environmentally and resource-wise better than it's ever been, not uh, just in spite of a larger population, but in part because of higher population. Simon's argument is that people's minds are a resource that have increased the uh, abundance of everything around us more than anything else on the planet. And so part of what I look at is uh, kind of uh, researching along that line, looking at how the human mind, especially through things like entrepreneurship, can actually make things more abundant than they are in the economy now. And another track I take too related to this is uh, I, I'm bothered by the fact that, especially in the 20th century, but even up to today, there was a lot of resources, energies, uh, whatever you want to call it, invested in lowering the population because of this kind of academia, ivory tower belief that the world was overpopulated, spring out of like a lot of ecology departments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and so both within the U.S. and in other countries, a lot of money was spent trying to decrease populations. And when you take the Julian Simon argument seriously, when you... Uh, look at the data and see people are actually good for the environment. This is like the worst possible policy. Not only are you uh, pretty significantly harming human rights, uh, but you're also making things worse environmentally and economically when you do it. Mm -hmm.